that you got all that. All right, so we got the intelligent BMS here, and here's our computer interface so that we can adjust things. And the first thing you do is you go up there, and then the second thing you got to do is uh, you got to get your COM port right. You go on to COM, and then you hit refresh, and it'll come up as some number, and you hit OK. And then you got to hit, uh, do you hit start or you hit read? You go over here, yeah, you hit, go to settings. Okay, and then you hit start. Oh, I think you got to hit read though, right? But you have yeah. to start it first. Okay, so, so then you hit read, and now it reads everything that's in there. And now this is the programming that comes from the factory. And as we can see from this, this is set up for 4.25 cells. And we just happen to have 20, so we're happy with that. If you don't have 20, then you got to redo a lot of your voltages because you got it. You got your peak voltage, and this is something that's funny. It's not just setting those voltages. You got to set your peak voltage, which you got to multiply that top number uh, cell cutoff by peak cutoff. So you multiply your top number by how many cells you have. If you got 18 or 20, you got to do that, and you got to do that also with the peak low voltage. If you don't do that, it won't be happy, uh, and it will won't won't work. So you also got to do that over here. So we got all that set up. Now, uh, see our delay time there? That's how long it takes after it reaches one of these thresholds uh, for it to go back, and we'll leave that there. Uh, where is our, okay, see where our balance is? Uh, charge balance, balance, load detect. We're going to come over there, and we want him balancing all the time, so we're going to take off charge balance because we want him balancing all the time. Uh, all right, and then start balancing it when he gets up to four. Yeah, that's at the, we'll let that go. Sometimes if you want him to balance more often or all the time, then you'd set that. But we got him set for 4 volts. Uh, and over there also, yeah, all right. So we like everything we got. All right, so now we come over here to... Uh, uh, pack info. Pack. Yeah, okay, and that shows all our cells, voltages. And now uh, we go over to Calibrate here and hit calibrate now we're going to go ahead and calibrate all these guys and we're going to take the readings and Sarah's going to punch in the numbers and just push on pause there we've taken all the uh, correct numbers that we read with our meter and put them in and then the last thing to do is going to be calibrate and you hit calibrate and hopefully it'll come up with some Chinese and there we go. Now we come back, and now we've got correct voltage readings, because uh, when we're measuring down to a thousands of a volt, even the wire distance is going to make a difference and whatnot. So that's why we do this, and we want it calibrated so that it balances properly. So there we go.